So believe it or not, many people watching this Helldivers 2 video won't be aware the reason we ain't really progressing the latest major order is because many many players are actually doing it wrong. Today I will explain everything you need to know about this new major order with a few great tips on the best way of us getting this done. Now the winner of yesterday's 2100 super credit giveaway is Keeper of Rocks 4618. Hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your super credits. Now guys, do you want to win 2100 super credits? If you do, it's simple. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. Give me your best advice for a new or solo player. Winner will be picked and announced on tomorrow's Helldivers 2 video also guys i'm trying to build my own how divers 2 community where we can talk about the game play together this that and all that good shiz join my discord link down below and say hi to everybody let's go now i'm well aware of the videos out there stating this new major order is a trap and they link that with the audio files but hey that's a driven narrative for this game to progress as a whole it's meant to be and we are meant to complete this major order I think even if it fails guys, another similar major order will follow until we get it done so we can progress the way this game's meant to be progressed. So although we love a good leak, we are all interested to see what happens if this major order is failed, we need to get this done guys. Now although I don't think people are intentionally trying to fail this, I mean that would be kind of stupid if you ask me. I think we ain't progressing this as quick as we should be is because many players are kind of doing it wrong, either finding it too difficult or simply doing the wrong missions to progress these four planets, while three now because one has been liberated people. Now before I do go any further, I don't plan for this video to come across condescending, I really just want to help out players who may not know exactly what to do and also give them tips if they're struggling, even solo players like myself, trust me guys, I know the headache it can be, I can't tell you how many times I've been killed by my own team calling an airstrike over that silo, it's so crazy, it's unreal, it's actually a major factor in why I'm making this video. Now I'm guessing many people that will watch this video will know exactly what they're doing, so do leave advice for other players down below. So we need to liberate four, well three planets now, one has already been liberated, to complete this major order. The ones are left to liberate are, well as I make this video, Eretta Prime, Meridia and Turing. We need to get these done. So the description reads of this actual major order. Termicide dispensing towers have been built all over every barrier planet. They need only to be activated to quarantine the bugs for good. So first things first people, to progress this major order to begin with, you need to be doing the right missions. So for starters, you need to be doing and completing the activate determined control system missions on these while three remaining planets. Nothing else here upon completion will count towards progress for these planets to be liberated for this major order. So if you're in a team or playing solo, this is the mission you want to be starting or joining. Nothing else here matters guys, so yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, if you thought you were helping do any other missions, I'm sorry to inform you, as a hell diver, you wasn't. Now nothing is you actually have to complete the mission for this account too, so you need to do all three silos per mission and then extract guys, it's as simple as that. So if you are not aware, the mission is quite simple and this is how it's done and how it takes place. So I've in these mission guys and a quick rundown of how these are completed. As soon as you join in you will notice that notification on screen, activate terminal at the base of the central tower, uh, pick up your map guys you'll see a glowing red symbol, head there, press that button and then the process starts. Now from here guys you'll notice you now have to activate the termicide tower. To do this guys you have to activate three battery solo so if you pull up your map there are three battery icons on the screen they won't be glowing but you'll see them they're quite easy though around that central tower now in my opinion it's best to do these one at a time so if you're playing with randoms or as a solo player uh, listen out for pings or ping yourself so everyone has a clear direction on which one you can go to first it doesn't matter what order you do these in they can go to any one you want to so once a silo has been selected then head over 
And to start these guys, you simply press that button like that control panel. And from here, you'll notice on the screen, you have a silo status, which is the actual silo's health. And you'll then have a progression bar. Now the progression bar slowly goes up, but you'll also notice that silo also has a health bar. So once you've started this process, you'll notice guys, and you'll hear the notification of bug breaches. It's your job here to defend. Defending is key. These bugs will attack said silo and drain that health bar. If the health bar gets down to zero, you'll see on the screen about the silo status being critical. If it gets back down to zero, you have to repress that button and do the whole process of defending this again. Now also, and it's very important to know and keep in mind, you can also damage the silo. So airstrikes in and around these silos, if they hit it, they can drain all of its health, meaning you have to start this process again. So keep that in mind. Now you have to defend these silos for a good few minutes and it isn't easy and there are hordes of these bugs. I think there's like four bug breaches in and around the map and they all head to that said silo. Now a few tips on this in a quick second. But once you do activate each silo, defend it, you move on to the other. When all three are done, you now head to that extraction point. Here you will see another yellow terminal. Here you initiate that process of initiate the termicide dispersal and here you complete the mission and from this point you defend and extract as normal bugs are spawning take them out do your thing and get out of there you've now added and helped towards this major order its progression so a few tips and tricks you can use here with these silos so what i've noticed is at these silo spots when defending there are very clear spawn points around each one now you can hold down if you are efficient enough with your arsenal in a team of four this shouldn't be a problem with you uh, if you are playing solo try to see where your squad is in regards to what area near said silos they are trying to hold down you then will take the silo to check other spawn points and get another angle on said spawn point to help hold it down remember airstrikes and things like this will damage that silo hold in progress and even damage it to a point where you reset and have to start again in my opinion, the best stratagems to use here are probably the mines as well as the Tesla Towers. I ain't high enough level now to get the Tesla Towers, but my friend was using one earlier and they're absolutely incorrect. These are by far the best in my opinion. But I have noticed, and this only happens once the progress has started, a lot of the bugs will completely ignore that Tesla Tower. In fact, I think all besides the chargers will ignore the Tesla Towers. But do quote me if I'm wrong there, guys. Just make sure said progress and said silo you're defending has already started before you throw that Tesla tower down. Also, if you plan on using these, be specific in where you put them, both for the mines as well as the Tesla tower. The mines you don't want to put by the silo, just make sure you put them away from the silo. The Tesla tower though, it doesn't actually affect the silo. I don't know why this happens, but it doesn't damage the silo, which is pretty cool. Just make sure you place them in the right spots where they can do optimal damage without taking unnecessary damage from critters, which may target them. Also, it's not really smart to place said Tesla towers or even mines near any path you may take or may need to pass. That's kind of obvious as these things will absolutely destroy you. Other stratagems you can use here are basically most defensive ones. These will work great for you. The EMS mortar is badass too. Even the exo suits, if you can unlock them and use them, these are good to use at the same time. Anything which helps hold targets off will be great here, turrets included. Now another strat you could try instead of doing one at a time is to actually separate in a team because I believe what's actually happening here, once those breaches are open and those bugs start pouring out, they will disperse to that active silo or active silo. So if more than one is indeed active, what this means is they will separate or even head to a single silo, meaning less of a problem to deal with on another silo. I mean, I can see this being a good thing uh, to try if you are being overrun and you're struggling, but I do feel doing one at a time if you're in a good team and they know what they're doing is probably the better option as you can hold down all positions much, much easier. But yeah, guys, we've already liberated one planet with everyone knowing what they're doing and using those stratagems, their arsenal properly, this should be absolutely no problem whatsoever. And I expect over the next couple of days, this will be completed and we'll be able to progress the planned progression they have in store for us. 
So yes, guys, like I said, if you have any tips and tricks for any new players in the game, people are struggling with this major order, do let us know down below within that comments section. Remember, guys, if you want to join my Howl Divers 2 community, do join my Discord link down below. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.